Hello, my name is Ivan Vistik. Um, I work for Qualis on a research site called uh, SSL Labs. Um, and in the last two years, we've been conducting uh, SSL studies, analyzing how SSL is used from one point of view or another. And we've most recently completed our third uh, and final leg of uh, analysis, uh, looking at how uh, was the, the, the worst ways in which you can uh, break SSL security completely. So what we initially did in our first two studies, we looked at all public SSL servers that are out there and looking primarily at the SSL configuration issues. Um, and what we've discovered is actually this SSL configuration is pretty bad uh, across the board and we're seeing uh, many sites using insecure protocols such as SSL2, many sites using weak cipher suites and generally uh, creating, uh, having a, a secure communication channels that are not as secure as, as you'd want them to be. However, all those security issues are not of any immediate concern because as uh, it's not ideal to have uh, SSL configuration is not uh, good enough. However, to attack such weak configurations is still very expensive, which is why most attackers don't do it, and which mo mo most attackers actually go and do something else, which is easier to do. So, in our third uh, leg uh, of the survey, we wanted to look at some impedance mismatch issues uh, in SSL. Uh, the SSL protocol, when it was in initially designed, it was designed to work with any TCP protocol, which is great, However, the problem there is that the protocol that is being protected uh, that is not aware of that the SSL exists at all. And over the years, a number of features have been added to uh, HTTP that actually break SSL completely. So what we did, we took Alex's top one million uh, list of popular websites and we cross-referenced it with our own uh, a list of all SSL servers. And we arrived at a list of about 250,000 uh, domain names that we wanted to examine in depth. depth. And we built a custom crawler uh, that executed JavaScript and followed all the links there. And we crawled all these websites looking for these various flaws. And essentially, uh, I'll give you an example of what sort of flaws we were looking at. Uh, sites that uh, mix plain text content with SSL content. Uh, because if you have a single page on a website that's not secure, an active man in the middle can actually uh, grab that one request, hijack it, and hijack either the complete session or the complete user account. So what we ended up with is um, we discovered that, uh, to put it plainly, most SSL, virtually all SSL sites uh, are insecure. Uh, all sites have one problem or the other which break SSL completely. So I'm not going to bother with the actual details. If you go to our website, which is ssllabs.com, you'll be able to download the slides that contain uh, full information. Um, and although we initially started this survey trying to figure out how many sites are insecure, what we ended up, ended up doing is figuring out how many sites are secure. So we established a baseline, which is uh, a website, you know, to be secure, has to be 100% SSL, has to, be, has to have to use strict transport security, and it has to have a well-configured uh, uh, certificate. And in our analysis, we discovered that there are only nine sites that fit our description of being properly secure on the SSL, SSL level. Most of these other sites, they'll, they will either not redirect to SSL, they will use session cookies that don't have a secure flag set. They will use mixed content. And they, many of the sites, actually more than half of the sites, will submit user credentials over plain text, not protecting them at all. So um, that's it in a nutshell. Um, if you go to sclabs.com, you will find these results and all our previous results, so you can uh, look at them. And we also make our raw data available to all security researchers, so that they can uh, look at the data and find out uh, many other things for themselves. Thank you very much.